Mila and, and Linus Way. Hey y'all, what's up? I'm back with Bizarre Vark Halloween Hollow Hollow Vark. I don't know, it's in the title, it's part boo, because part one was on season one, so we got the part two of this episode, and this episode wasn't, um, like, too much, they just sat down, and it was telling scary stories, and it wasn't like them doing a whole bunch of stuff all at one time, because it is Halloween, and I tell scary stories, guys, comment what your Halloween costume is gonna be, or what you wanna be, or what you gonna be, if you even celebrate Halloween, do you celebrate Halloween, because before, we didn't celebrate Halloween, but I do wanna get some free candy, like, go to, like, the mall and stuff, and they give out free candy, and I'm always looking for something free, so, yeah, if y'all know any places giving away free food and candy, comment in. But, yeah, this is Mila right here. Hello. <laughs> and she didn't watch the show, but she should have anyway. I don't know why she didn't. But anyway, whatever. Anyway, so the show episode started off with Paige and Franklin. They had a video called The Night Dream, where you don't know if it's a nightmare or if it's a dream, and you don't know how to tell the difference between the two. But I never had, I don't think I never had a... I don't know if I have a nightmare before. I have dreams that's probably bad, and that is, you can consider that as a nightmare. Man, I have nightmares all the time, man. It'd be like, I'll wake up with a puddle of sweat on my, like, a puddle. Like, literally, literally, I can go to one of those studies when they watch you in your sleep. Because it'd be like, and then sometimes when you, like, fall, when you fall. Oh, down, yeah, be, I get that. Okay, oh, my God. I'd be jumping. I'd be mad. I'd be so mad that I, that that happened. I don't like being woken up and I'm in a dream and I like and I'm got woke up and it's like dang it. Then I can't remember. Like seconds later, I can't remember the dream. It's like the dream gods are like wiping my memory or something. I don't know. But yeah, so they went to Vugo and Amelia was like, "Look, nothing scares me no more. I grew up in a farm in the middle of the woods. I've seen everything." So Paige was like, "Well, I grew up in the suburbs of Tarzana and I've seen nothing because she grew up in the suburbs and Amelia grew up in." a rural area, which they don't show a lot, Amelia, growing up in a rural area, like, they don't ever really mention it, they just mention how perfect she is, but they don't ever really, I guess you would know, because she got the southern accent, but you don't really notice it, so maybe they can, like, elaborate on her parents or something, I don't know, anyway, but, yeah, so, it was movie night, Dirk wanted to watch a feminist movie, and then Bernie, it was like, look, let the electronic man handle this, so he grabbed the laptop, and he blew out the whole power, so then, they was like, burn it. And he was like, well, what did you expect was going to happen when I picked up this laptop? So they had to tell a scary story. So Paige and Frankie told a story called Dalloween, and it was Bernie. He went into a shop, and it was his witch. Amelia was playing the witch. And he was like, you know what? I want to buy something for my friends, you know, for their birthday or whatever. So then she was like, well, we got some dolls over here. And then he was like, well, what about these dolls over here? And I say 99% off. And she was like, well, those are really haunted. So then an uh, ominous lightning sound came, and he was like, well, I'm going to wait till the sound pass, and I'm going to take these haunted dolls. So he gave it to them. They played with them. And then the dolls is running racket in Paige and Frankie's house. I don't even know why Frankie... I mean, Paige is sleeping there because she don't even live there. But pa Frankie was like, what's that? And then Paige was like, I don't know. I'm sleeping on the floor. How would I be able to see it? So they was running around. And then it was like attacking them. It was trying to kill them, basically. So Bernie called. And he was like, oh, yeah, just a tip. I just want to tell you that those dolls are probably... That's, no, that's from Sausage Party. He was like, I just want to tell y'all that these dolls are haunted. I just want to tell you, like, you know, just a little side thing, just if y'all didn't know if they wasn't already killing you. So, he was like, bye, I'm gonna leave. So then, they was like, look, well, what are we gonna do? So they went to Dirk's, like, little lair in the Vugle, and he was like, I'm watching the dolls' channel. It was Paige and Frankie dolls, but they was like the evil dolls. So then they was like, they're gonna kill their channel, and they're gonna get more views in them, because they already put out 200 videos, and they only had like 3 million subscribers. So they was winning. So Paige and Frankie figured out what... Whoa, whoa, man. Paige and Frankie figured out what they was going to do and how they was going to destroy the dolls. So the dolls were sleeping in Paige and Frankie's bed like Paige and Frank, the real Paige and Frankie was the same night when they tried to kill him. So then Paige was like, I'm going to kill Frankie with feelings. So she was like killing the doll Frankie with feelings and then the doll blew up in her hand. And then Frankie just took Paige doll and put it in a meat grinder and then they went and ate the doll in a meat doll hamburger. So then Bernie was like, look, side note, this is probably never going to happen, but don't eat the dolls because you'll turn into the dolls. And they eventually turned into the dolls and it was inside of the store. So, that really wasn't a scary story, but then Paige is like, oh my god, like, you think the dolls are funnier than us? Then Frankie was like, we made the story up. It's not, you're not going to, like, we funny, like, because we made it up. So, they had to do another story because Amelia was like, I'm not scared from that story. Then Viking guy, he was like, look, I caught this dinosaur. And then it was like, that's not a dinosaur, that's a kid. So, he wanted to listen to the scary stories, too. So, 
Dirk told a story about how he was Dracula, and that was just weird because he wanted to turn. He didn't like how he was a vampire, and all his friends was able to go outside, you know, play and eat garlic knots and this and that. So then he just turned all of them into vampires so they could be hanging out with him. So then at the end, they said, "Don't be peer pressured into being a vampire if your friend is a vampire. Just because you don't want to be, you don't have to be it, and don't be peer pressured into it." So it was a good message that they had at the end of that because kids be trying to be vampires because everybody else is vampires so yeah and then bernie he had to do it a little story but it wasn't really working it don't really work for bernie but it still worked but he was trying to be a werewolf and uh, they just was poking holes in his story and it was just too much stuff that was going on and it was just it was it wasn't it wasn't really working for him it wasn't because he had bought a perfume he went back to the witch store and he was like can i have some perfume and she's like just, i'm gonna save you the time and i'm gonna just give you the most haunted perfume ever so he had put it on and then he put dirk in the story when dirk was a bank robber but then it's like how did that even fit in there so then he was still fixing it and then he they was he was getting ideas from everybody else to make the thing a happy ending so it ended with amelia the witch be ended up being with bernie and kissing bernie and amelia's like wow that was the scariest story ever so she thought it was scary because she screamed out loud because she was end up with Bernie because she don't want to be with Bernie because Bernie's like 12 years old and she's like 15 so I would see why she wouldn't want to be with him and like but, 15 yeah. years old needs to be having a significant others because it's like what are you doing go play with some Legos I think that's you don't play with Ninjago's not Legos but anyway guys yeah that was in the episode it was somber you know it wasn't like too much you know because normally they do like three different storylines at once maybe two or three different storylines at once but it was still cool because i do like this show a lot the acting is really good considering they're coming from like younger people that's on disney so they're like actually funny so i can see them being in other stuff other than disney channel but yeah guys thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment and we'll see you guys next time bye oh god that's all